up guys so we are at the Sumner Care and Rehab Center in Sumner Illinois we are the first ones to get the chance to investigate this place and film it this is a brand new location the owner just got it like a week and a half ago or so they're still cleaning out all this trash over this way there is a lot of trash out but i don't know if you can see it on here there's also a lot of dumpsters because they are cleaning this place up they're trying to make it all nice and uh, spiffy and whatnot we've already experienced some stuff like behind the scenes type stuff and right before actually starting we did go ahead and do an abandonment you guys will be seeing that here in a little bit but we are gonna be here legit all night we are staying the night here big shout out to Tony and Misty and Addy and Adam Kimmel with uh, Resident Undead if you guys haven't seen or heard of Resident Undead you are missing out Adam Kimmel isn't only an amazing person but he is an amazing filmmaker uh, he he does a lot and with how much he does with his locations Adam Kimmel is the owner of the Fairfield County Infirmary and Madison Seminary he is partnered up him and Addie has partnered up with Tony and Misty to help get these locations booked and whatnot Pine Lawn Manor is right next door this is the sister building that was for um, people that needed 24 7 supervision for like mentally disabled stuff like that and this was more for this was more of a nursing home for like old like an old folks home but there still were a lot of deaths here uh, there what we were told from the owners is that there was a nurse who uh, unalived herself and there is also a resident here that also unalived themselves so we do know there's at least two pretty uh, pretty bad ways to go out kind of deaths here but then there's also multiple other uh, deaths here of natural causes of course whether that's like well sicknesses stuff like that pretty much what any old folks would pass away from welcome to the, the Sumner Rehab and Care Center what we're going to do is this is called a, a spear box abandonment. We're going to leave the building and we're going to actually leave the property completely. I know you don't know us and we'll formally introduce ourselves when we get back, but we have to get there before a certain time before they close. You can use this device or these other two devices here to communicate with us and we will see it later on when we go over the footage. But we will see you guys in about 15 to 20 minutes when we get back. These cameras, they are rolling. They will not hurt you. None of these devices will hurt you. And we will explain more when we get back. But all right, we're leaving now. Hey guys, Future Brandon here. I'm editing this video and whatnot, and I just saw that I caught something during this abandonment that I seen in person. Okay, so that little glitch thing that I was just like seen in the little corner over here looks like the file was trying to corrupt or something, an issue with the SD card, right? And that's what I would have thought too, but I saw that with my eyes later that night and just keep in mind I didn't know that we caught this on camera during the abandonment while we were gone so when I seen this I was like holy crap that's what I saw the 
and the deal is I, I informed the owners of what I seen along with the rest of the team what I seen and the way I described it was it was like a, a glitchy ball and it appeared there for like five seconds or so and then just disappeared but then I was like it was like a, a tear in fabric or some or the fabric of time like a ripping the matrix or whatever like a glitch almost is how I described it and then it I saw it when I was editing the footage so that's something to keep in mind too later on in this video you guys will also hear me describing something else that I've never seen before the only bad thing is we may not have actually gotten it on camera but that's that makes two things at this location that I've never seen before and personally I'm not gonna speak for you know the rest of people that you see in this video but personally I've been investigating for a very long time like 2012 type far you know what I'm saying so like 10 or 11 years so I don't know let me know in the comments what you guys think do you think that it's just some kind of strange coincidence and that really was a, like a faulty like the footage trying to corrupt or what do you guys think it was let me know and uh, let's just get back to the video <laughs> Was you talking to us? Can you use this device right here to say something? Anything at all? My name is Brandon, and this is my mom, Misty. My brother Dylan is back in that room. We're going to be spending the entire night here to try to talk to you and get to know you and hopefully tell your story if something tragic happens to you. Are you okay with that? Sounds like you got anything? Alright, I'm going to shut this off and we're going to continue trying to talk to you. Maybe sometime tonight we can get to know each other and be friends. Or not. Or not. Or not. Yeah, it's pretty. Okay. But we're still going to stay here all night. <laughs> can you make some kind of noise if you can hear me? Even if it's making this device here go off, which you just gotta get close to it, or this cat ball, if you touch it or move it or whatever, it'll light up. But I'm gonna leave the REM pod here, look. That's all you gotta do. You just gotta get close to it, and we'll be able to hear it, so we'll know you're out here. But I'm gonna take these two cameras that I have, I'm gonna take them back in there, and I'm gonna review the footage as much as we can from when we were gone to see if there's any clues in there about who might be here and maybe we can get to know you a little better and get you out of your shell because we know that you guys aren't used to people in here trying to communicate with you. We're not here to harm you or disrespect you. We're here to tell your story. And get to know you. Okay, we're going to leave you alone now. Yeah, we're going to take the cameras off you and we're going to see if you'll play with this device. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this device right in the middle of the floor. It's, it's going to recalibrate for you guys watching. 
these have a seven second recalibration time, so if you mess up anything and they keep on going, do that again. No, what you no. bent over. The reason why I say that is because, which I might cut this part out of the video because, oh, trust me, bro. Right. But when you bent over, as soon as you bent over, it looked like the shadow on the white part of that door frame there mm -hmm. okay. either walked out or in. I seen something move, but I can't quite tell which uh, way I it was. Hey, if my mom missed you, if she just heard you, and I may have just seen your shadow, it was very faint, which is why I thought it may have been my mom, like, light bouncing off and coming back. But if that was you, can you touch this device here? I will back up, just because you don't know it's like that yet. Can you touch that red device down there? It will not hurt you, I promise. If it hurts you, you can hurt me, I give you permission. Also, for audio purposes, there are bugs flying around, so there might be some of the buzzing sound in the audio. Right, guys so once again we're at the Sumner rehab and care facility getting a little bit later start we uh, have been doing a little bit of behind the scenes investigating to try and get the spirits warmed up to us because we are the first ones here to do a formal investigation and try and figure out just how haunted this place is we've gotten some pretty crazy stuff we did f do some light filming already but now we're uh, figuratively speaking officially going balls to the wall trying to uh, figure out just what's going on in here just how haunted it is and uh, so like I said it, it is pushing 120 in the morning we will be here all night like I said earlier and uh, just to see so we are not leaving this place until after the sun comes up so we will be able to tell you guys our honest opinion on if we think this place is haunted which I can already tell you from stuff we've already captured this place is definitely active and haunted what do you guys think yeah yeah yes yeah, it's, it's definitely definitely active while we were going to where we're at now and I was getting stuff set up on the camera ready to uh, film for low light this uh, we was definitely hearing some stuff I got a another camera down there filming down this hallway uh, obviously it's got a light on it so it's not a night vision camera I don't know how far down I can actually see but it might be able to see us this place so far I think a lot of people are gonna realize that it's kind of kind of like a shadow figure territory because I mean I don't know if you guys have actually seen any shadow figures yet but I've seen multiples already uh, tonight even and I've already seen and I'm not gonna say full body apparition because it wasn't a full body but it looked like someone like a nurse's gown walked past the door but I only caught the very end of it because I was like turning so I'm definitely excited to see what all we get tonight how are you guys feeling about it I'm excited I can't wait to get more Alrighty. Can't wait to get started. It's been a while since we've done any kind of investigating. It has. It's been too long. Way too long. So, right now, we are pretty much right in the middle of where everything would be at. Right over here. Let me turn the camera around real quick. Right here. This was like the nurse's station. 
I don't think there's anywhere that formally says nurse's station, but I mean, let's be honest, as you'll see throughout the night, this is the only spot where, you heard something? Yeah, I've heard that a couple times. I don't know what that could be. We've heard a lot of stuff in this little middle area, which is why we decided to go ahead and start here. Uh, this was resident dining room is what this was. Just keep in mind, guys, all this is going to be gone eventually. Tony and Misty just got this property not long ago at all. This is all the previous owner's stuff. Uh, they have X amount of time to come and get it. And if they don't, they already got dumpsters. Um, they got more on standby. Everything that is not a value or trash or just straight up junk will be taken out of here. So just keep that in mind. You guys are getting footage of basically it just starting out. This is the very beginning of it. So once again, all this stuff will be out of here. Don't think that this place is trashy. It, yeah, just, you get it. We have mag lights that we're about to put out to see. Tonight we're gonna be using a little bit of everything to see how they like to communicate. Placing one on the nurse's station. Where do you want to place the other one? Mm, over there. Maybe we can make it a yes and no type thing. Alright, here. So we have one Maglar here on the nurse's station desk, one over here by the wall. I also have. Cat balls. What we are going to do is take the music box with us down here to, because over back this way is where the bigger apartment is, and that's where we just heard that sound. And, uh, we'll be able to hear this stuff go off or see it or whatever. We go down there and see if we can't figure out what's going on in there. What was that? That's almost the same we've heard well moved. That almost sound like a door. No, it's that's the middle. Yeah, oh, there's two bats. There's a family in here. Damn, that mother flew right by my ears. Wolf Paranormal would love this. Yeah, yeah. This is where the magic happens. So we have a music box. We're going to face it into this corner here. Got to calibrate twice. All right. Is there any way, if there's any spirits in here with us right now, if you can set off that music box, all you gotta do is put your hand in front of it or step in front of it or walk through the door, something. So if this is all you have to do, see? That's it, that's all. Can you do that for us? I have a, a voice recorder that might be able to pick up on your voice. Do you want me to try that? I don't even see how it's almost dead. I haven't used it. But 
password and now has a bar. It doesn't make much sense. Where right, I'm about to turn this on and I'm gonna set it down like this. All you have to do is speak into these silver, silver cylinders on it and this will pick up your voice. And we're gonna ask some questions. Sound good? Good. Alrighty. Wait. Alright, we're recording. Remember, all you gotta do is talk into that device or just speak loud enough for us to hear you. What is your name? How old are you? Final question. Is the nurse and or resident that passed away in this building due to self-inflicted wounds, do you still hang around here? Is your spirit still here? So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try a necrometer or a necrometer. You got, I don't know if you guys can see that or if it's going to focus on it. Just necrometer. We've had some luck with this in the past. For those of you guys that came from TikTok, this app here, which you guys would know that mom and I are still like uh, with phone apps, but at the same time, if spirits and stuff like that can manipulate these devices, make them go off and do all this other stuff with these devices, what says they can't mess with phones? You know, like, is there an unspoken rule amongst the spirits or a law? You know, hey, you can turn lights on and off, you can mess with this, mess with that, but you better stay away from cell phones. I mean, come on, I'll be real. So we, we're still iffy on them, but we use them with an open mind and take them with a grain of salt. Like it said, moon, that almost makes no sense. Um, it could, but we'd be reaching. It could be something like a maybe spirit liked the moon. I don't know, but it's still a bit of a stretch. So we're going to keep it. Oh, Latin, Lattice, Lat. I think that's supposed to be lady ships. L A D Y S H I P S. That sounds like lady ships. <coughs> but I don't know what the hell that means. Lady ships. But we're going to leave this running in the background. I'm going to have it running while it's in my pocket. Um, also, if you guys can't tell, I do have a bit of a, like a head cold. I have allergies. See me. So I'm going to be sneezing. I feel like I'm coming. See me. See me. Oh, God. Hey, if, if we've seen you here already, I don't know why they give me cold chills. <laughs> because I have seen stuff here already. If we can see you, or if I've seen you before and you want us to see you, um, oh, lady. so a respectful form of reference or address to a woman who has a title. Ladyship, see me. So maybe like see me as ladyship. Mm -hmm. I just ask if it's a nurse. Right. I mean that does kind of make sense now that I think about it. Because I mean, you know, a nurse is a title. Well, yeah, I'm pretty respected in a place like this. Right. So is one bad spirit. One bad spirit. I'm, I'm, Flower. <laughs> I wonder if there's a room in here with flowers in it. Sometimes you have to kind of piece it together, even though it could be a stretch, you still got to pay attention to some stuff. So can you set this music box off if the nurse is still in here and you want to be looked at as ladyship, like leader or respected? Is that a knock? Mm -hmm. I don't know if the camera picked it up, but there was just a knock somewhere close yeah. or a creak or something. I will say we've already spent quite a bit of time here today and got familiar with some of the sounds that the building makes. Honestly, what we just heard almost sound like a settling sound. 
But still wanted to point it out. Sure, I'll put my phone on uh, airplane mode. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, if there really is a bad spirit here, can you please set any spirit that can hear me? It don't have to be the bad spirit, there is one, but if there is a bad spirit here, can you set this music box off? Just step in front of it. It can be even just for a second. Uh, just let us know. Try to warn us. Oh, I didn't finish what I was saying earlier. For those of you guys who came from TikTok, Necrometer is the app that the spirits at Pine Lawn used. Sadistic. Sadistic. <laughs> that kind of goes with what I just asked. Mm -hmm. um, that gave me chills too. Um, even though I don't really believe in demons, but still, um, if the spirit was religious, right. I just saw like a black circle behind you. Hmm. I could I could be tripping, but brother, <laughs> <laughs> that's what we would say too. But uh, anyway, uh, the spirits at Pylon next door is what they use this app to warn us when that guy tried breaking in. So it kind of gained some brownie points due to that. So I should have started. Situation. Situation. It's a weird I died suddenly. Oh. <gasps> yeah. An that alive makes sense. This female. Right, and it's almost like it was talking back and forth using right. phones. My so necrometer said situation. Spirit talker said I died suddenly. Which makes sense because, as I told you guys earlier, we were told by the owners that there were two people that uh, themselves in here. It, one of them was a nurse and the other one was a resident. But they didn't try to tell us that, you know, oh, we think their spirits are still here. They just let us know that information. But given it being like an old folks home, Obviously, there was a lot of death that happened here. So it's almost, it's not a guarantee that a place that has a lot of death happen would be haunted like a cemetery. Just because there's a lot of dead people at a cemetery don't mean it's haunted. But. My name is Jack. Jack? That does sound like an old person's name. <laughs> Jeff I've never heard say that name. Yeah. I've heard you say Jeff. All right, Jack. I did see that for me. Yeah, my name's Jeff. <laughs> All right, if there is, in fact, a Jack here, is there any way at all... Share my message. Share my message. We told it earlier what we was trying to do. Mm -hmm. um, Where is your message? Yeah. If you want me to tell... Refuse. Refuse. And you can't refuse to tell us your message if you want us to share your message. Yeah, because then we don't have a message to share. But Jack, if there really is a person or a spirit named Jack here, can you give us any kind of sign, whether it's knocking over one of these devices or setting off the music box, anything? Can you give us some kind of sign? Here in a minute, we're going to be going back that way because that's where all of our equipment is at. I might be tripping, but I almost thought I heard a whistle. It didn't muffle, of course, but... No, I didn't hear nothing. Nothing. Okay. But that's not nothing. Alright, within the next, like, 30 to 60 seconds, we're probably gonna... Probably gonna head to a different location because we've got a lot of ground to cover in a shorter amount of time. That and, um... God protects this place. Let's hope so. Can you, uh... In the home. In the home. Can you answer yes or no on one of these devices? Is heaven and hell real? Like God and the devil, heaven and hell, are they, are they actually real? I'm learning to use this. <laughs> I was explaining, I don't know if I got it on video or not earlier, but 
I was explaining to the spirits how to use these, these devices when we went to go do the abandonment. And then when we came back from the abandonment. Mm -hmm. oh, that was man. great. That's why we're here. We're trying to help you. We're not, uh, we're not here to be rude or anything. We're not here to try and annoy you, even though it is late at night. Um, we're, we're just here to try to communicate with you. And honestly, we feel like nighttime is the best time to get a hold of you and talk to you and communicate because it just seems like there's more activity at night and there's not so much going on. We can focus on you. Skeleton. Skeleton of what? Also, you didn't answer my question. <laughs> <laughs> Is heaven and hell real? God and the devil, are they real? I do have a theory on all that. Who? Who needs to look behind? There's three of us here. Oh, that was a Freaking bad. Jeez. I know that got me too. That's also a problem. You don't like when you hear thumps and stuff. You don't know what yeah. these guys are doing. Right. We are about to switch locations again, and we may end up taking another little break because I got a tingle. <laughs> I came from a dark place. Was the lights off? Hey. Worked before, be, being a little funny with them. If you have not met me or my mom yet, uh, sometimes we like to try to break the ice, and we will be funny with you guys, and we'll just like crack jokes and stuff like that. I promise we don't mean disrespect by it. We are basically just trying to be humorous, trying to lift us. Uh, a bad phrase. I was going to say, lift your spirits. <laughs> Close. 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 We feel like you come from the naked yeah. next door. Close. Oh, that does make sense. Because it is Are you close. O yeah. Are you okay with us being humorous and just quote unquote giving you a hard time, but all in a friendly manner? I mean, you can dish it back to us, that's fine. <laughs> That'd be funny. We're just here as buds. I'll look back. The little girl likes you. I'm flattered. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> like there's three of us though. <laughs> Who does hey. she like? I'm Misty. I'm Dylan. And I'm also Dylan. I'm just kidding. My name is Brandon. Who does the little girl like? Mason. Okay, so my name's not Mason. <laughs> so, since we are the first ones to investigate this place and film here for YouTube and whatnot, social media essentially, uh, I know there's going to be a lot of people watching this that are curious about what to expect. Over um, here. Over here. <laughs> One thing you can expect is your batteries to be drained. I know it's cliche, it happens all the time, but I will say the camera I'm using right here is a Sony A7 or A7 IV. They they use these these bigger batteries. I'm now on my third one. Uh, luckily, what well, I say look like not like I or like I don't have five of them. But I've been putting them on the charger as they're getting low. When we we've only been in this room for like maybe 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And sad. sad. That battery was at 80% when we walked in this room. And I haven't been filming the whole time either. I have maybe 13 to 15 minutes worth of footage in this room, and it is down to 44% and it might even be down to 42% now. So with that being, and I also do videography work outside of the paranormal, so I'm, I know what to expect out of these batteries. And I will say without a doubt that these batteries are draining faster in this building. So that is something to be, uh, be aware of. So when you come here, or if
if you come here, make sure to bring chargers and extra. There is electricity in the building now, or there is electricity in the building. If you go to Pine Lawn, you also have access to this building, so you will have access to electricity. So make sure you bring chargers. Satanic. Satanic. Oh, I just seen a shadow right behind us. It's on 41. Dang. It's dropping fast. Mm -hmm. And it's funny, I said satanic right as I seen, like, I know they're going to see my, or the camera yeah, caught my reaction. How? I don't know. It's like you're able to watch the numbers go down. That is actually crazy. Not to mention, I just saw a shadow figure, like, right there, but it was, like, right. the top half of it. Almost, well, I say a shadow figure, but it was, like, that ball again. But this time it was more clear and it just went off. I see it block out part of the door. And like when I was like, you know, that said satanic. That's weird. I've never seen a, a black ball of energy. Which I mean, I guess it's essentially what it is. That's weird. I wonder if it's cold. cold. I don't know. But we're going to go ahead. 39. <laughs> Didn't <Dude. laughs> Once again, make sure you bring extra batteries and chargers. <laughs> Don't forget them or you won't be filming the whole night. <laughs> Luckily I have extras and I've been, as they're dying, I've been putting them on the charger anyway. Stay a while. Stay a while. <laughs> well, no, we're not gonna, hold on, we're not gonna leave, leave. We're just gonna move to a different location and take a little break. I'm gonna go ahead and just swap out this battery and put on the charger. I will say, okay, if you are taking energy from my battery, that is okay. You can. I have plenty of batteries. Just try not to drain them like crazy fast because I do only have five batteries all together, uh, which is even crazy. I'm having to say this because five batteries should be more than enough. I get, I've tested it before. If I'm filming for two hours straight, that's how long, well, I get about two hours and eight minutes, give or take. If I put one of these batteries in that camera and I press record and let it record all the way until it dies, how long? 30. 30. Oh my god. <laughs> but it's a little over two hours, like pushing two hours and ten minutes. I have not been filming that long with this battery. There is no reason why I should be dying that fast. And it's not it's not cold in here, so I don't even want to hear, oh the atmosphere. Da, da, da. I film in these conditions all the time, even though I'm not doing paranormal. If I'm at an event filming or something like that, it's warm in there too. 37. Oh my god. I just wonder how far... <laughs> it, it's not cold in here, but it's not hot in here either. So it's not the temperature... Oh no, it, it's in the 70s for battery. sure. It's in the 70s, so it's optimal. It's not like, right. oh my god, I'm sweating I so much. I used to stay here. What? It's, one says you will stay, and one says I used to live here. Hmm. Yes, we will stay. We, we are... Spirits. Are you guys draining my camera battery? It's got chills. Look at it. I don't know why. That's crazy. I just seen. Move. Do this. Benson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just a heavy and wood or rock wood. Well, now, what is that? Well, I don't know. I can't see. Oh, it's a big TV. Anyway, <laughs> I just seen a shadow. Karen. To be. Karen. That's why I told you to move because it Did you see like it? blocked out some of this light. That's what I've been seeing. I wonder if this camera caught it. I don't Let me know. see if you can even still see over there. Why did you contact me? Why did it sound like that though? I don't know. I don't know. That sounded like an old lady. Why did you contact me? Negative. <laughs> now that came. Negative. No, that went back to normal. <laughs> we need to go down there and check on the other camera too. Blanket. Blanket. What the hell? Something just moved over there. Yeah, it did. Turn this light up a lot. Criminal. So, we're leaving. The camera down here while we go back down this way so I'm gonna go check on our static camera down here and go ahead and put the battery 
that's in this camera on the charger, swap it out. I want to see what that said. A Ouija board, <laughs> which is funny because my blanket, it said something about a blanket earlier. Mm -hmm. I got a throw blanket, it's a Ouija board that I brought for tonight. Because once again, we are staying here. This is the first location we've ever been to that we purposely decided to stay here to try and document as much as possible. Did it just say what I think it just said? Yes. Sounds like it said true. Oh, two haunts. It's been saying stuff about two a lot, two spirits, this and that, mm -hmm. which is funny because two things that we know is that two people offed themselves here. But we, when we go outside, we will leave this on. It's pretty good. Little view down the hallway. Got it plugged in to the wall because I don't have batteries for it yet. Now. All left alone. Huh. All right, guys. So in this room, I can't. I I wasn't told which one passed away. I don't know if the nurse or the resident that uh, passed away due to self-inflicted wounds passed. Away. I don't know which one it was, but one of them passed away in this room. And uh, there was a memorial right here painted of them, but. The only thing that is left because the previous owners, before Tony and Misty got it, painted over it and put this stuff here and blah, 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 blah. But there is part of the memorial left underneath where a Lazy Susan used to be at. So we're going to do another. What is it? She killed him. Anyway, we're going to do another spirit box abandonment. Not as long as the last one, though. Maybe. We're gonna leave this going in here by the memorial. Right, here we go. Fresh batteries too. So, I'm going to put my phone down here on this table with this app that I collaborated with Spotted Ghost on called the Spirit Bell. And uh, here in a minute, I'll show you guys a little bit on how it works. You got to put your phone on airplane mode and all this kind of stuff. So there's no interference with cell service, any of that kind of stuff. And you set it down on wherever you want it and you hit start to calibrate it. And you don't mess with it because it has a uh, different, uh, it uses different sensors in your phone for uh, like motion, light, EMF, stuff like that. And if something messes with the phone or taps by it or just anything in general around the phone, the phone will start up as a bell or start ringing like a bell you'll hear what i'm talking about here you're going to try to put mine in here in this room if you want it is, i don't have my phone on me it is a little after three three thirty one okay so it's a lot after three <laughs> it's uh about three thirty or so we are going to go until about four four thirty and try to see what we can get as like the final push. Also, if it seems like we're getting low energy type stuff, why is it? Oh, the 
flashlight is on. I was about to say, what is bouncing off the wall right there, like flickering? Um, where is the yeah, flashlight? I see it, but I don't know where the flashlight's at. Oh, it's not on. Let me see. Okay, let me pick this up real quick. I'm going to turn the slide off real quick. You guys can still see a little bit. All right. Can you please turn that flashlight back on? I guess this is considered low light where we're at. That flashlight by that door, you just had it on. Can you please turn it back on? We have the lights off now where we're at. So we'd be able to see it a lot better. Anyways, what I was saying guys is we are probably giving off some low energy right now because we, it's been a while since we've done an actual overnight investigation. So we are getting pretty sleepy. I still don't know what that sound is. There's no fans on in here. There's no AC or heat or none of that kind of stuff. I don't know if the either the cameras would pick it or picking it up right now, but something is definitely making like what would you guys describe it as like a grindy sound, but almost like a furnace. Almost sounds like a furnace grind. Yeah, that's what I'd say. It is. sounds like a furnace. Oh. That was mine. Oh man. Ooh. I just heard a knock. Also. Keep in mind guys, there's no light on. This uh you can't see even see me pointing. I'll I will point at it in the video. But that is what was going that just went off. Can you do that again please? What was that? Did you hear that thump? Mm -hmm. I heard that. So there are two phones out, one down here by the crock pots, about thirty feet from us. And then there's another one in this room right beside us. Can you please knock on or touch one of those um, phones? It will ring like a bell, like what you just heard. It will do that again. So that right there, that's where the phone is at. That made that um, dinging sound. All right, so what time is it? 3.39. All right, I'm going to get, or I'm going to start the spirit box up. We had, so far we've had some luck with the spirit box in here. The spirit box and the REM pod seems to be, oh, the light turned on again. You can <laughs> see it on there. Hold on, let me black out the light real quick. See how it yep. So the light, right yep. did you see it? Can you do that again so mom can see? If you want me to turn this spirit box on so you can communicate with us, actually I got an idea. Well, you can still turn the light back on if you want me to turn the spirit box on. So I'm gonna move this down here, right by this light in front of this door. The reason why I'm doing that, and the reason why I put that light there is because that's where I heard that sound coming from earlier. And I know it was you because I looked in there and there was nothing in there. All the trash and stuff was already cleaned out of that room. It's not a bad thing, it just lets me know that that was you shuffling around in there because there's nothing in there, it's an empty room. Well guys, it's going on 4 a.m. 
and honestly probably about 2.30 or so it kind of seemed like a lot of the activity seemed to have slowed down. That don't mean it's going to happen like that every time, but it definitely seems like the activity is, is slowed down a lot. But we're definitely also going to stay here, so if anything happens, honestly, I'm pretty sure these two can, will, would agree with me. We've had quite a bit happen tonight, but it's been, and I know pretty much other people have investigated before know exactly what I'm saying. It's activity that happens in between battery changes, in between moving locations so your camera's off, in between taking breaks so you're like outside looking in, you see stuff or hear something. It never fails. It's kind of like one of them locations. You always want to have something rolling. But uh, I forgot to bring a laptop and an external hard drive to be able to dump footage. So our storage is very, uh, very minimal. Even though I have over 300 gigabytes worth of storage, I just, I can't really afford to, uh, to non-stop record with how big the file sizes are on these two cameras. See what I'm saying? It seems like when you're not paying attention is when stuff happens. You heard that knock too, right? Yeah, and I heard it sound like something like creak, creaking out like... Oh yeah, like, that. like going slow. Yeah. I almost like they want you to get up, but they're scared that the nurse is going to catch you because they're supposed to be in bed. Yeah, they could be. And I'll guys, so one thing to keep in mind with this location is you always want to try to have something recording because we've missed a lot tonight mm -hmm. on since we couldn't record. We've been having to use our storage very wisely. And before anybody says anything, I have two SD cards in this camera. One of them is a 256 gig SD card, and the other one is a 126 or 28 gig SD card. And uh, I mean, I still have like a couple hours on it, but the deal is there's been, uh, there's probably been more than a couple hours that we haven't been filming. If I'd have been filming mm -hmm. the whole time, yeah, I would have been out of storage already. Yeah, uh, because be we've filmed a lot with that down there. And, or that one, and I've already ran out of storage on the 120 gigabyte SD card in there, which is why I had to lower the quality to, because my one of my backup SD cards is a 64 gig, and I didn't realize that with um, that SD card, it's not a very high quality one, so uh, it won't even let me film in 1080p at that the bit color, what blah, 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 nerd stuff you guys might not understand. <laughs> Pretty much I have to record in 720p, so I don't know how this part of that is going to look and if I even use any of it, depending on how it looks. But, uh... What was that? I know you just moved your leg, but it wasn't that. There was something down there. It sounded like... Like... That's a good note. I just heard a pee, kind of. The problem is, I think what I was hearing was a, the bat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. Ooh. Nope. Yeah, that was mine, because it was closed. Yeah, no. You're like, ding, you were right. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do that again, please? Maybe this is a hot spot. Room 13. So the weight benches. Hey, can you please make that happen again? Did you hear that? Hmm. Like a squeak? No, it sounded like almost like a footstep. But the weird thing is, it sounded like it was above us, and there's nothing wow. above us. This is a single right. floor building. Well, unless they're in the attic somehow. Hmm. Or unless they passed away in the attic. No, they wouldn't. Well, even if they there. didn't pass away in the attic, they can still go up there. Yeah. We also don't know what kind of animals are in the attic either. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not saying there is, but we don't right. know if there is. I mean, look at Pineland. 
All right, so we are about to quote unquote basically try something different. And you probably already heard me talking about it, but we're going to basically put everything up except for devices that make sound. And we're gonna stop filming and we're gonna basically just chill out for the rest of the night. And we are going to see what happens when basically we just have devices that make sounds. We're not paying attention. And yeah, so if you think that we should do that, can you give us some type of sign? Set off any of the devices. Just let us know if you want us to basically stop filming. To be fair, they're not used to people filming anyways. Right. We, it, is go, it is a little after five. And uh, <coughs> we are about to try to get some sleep. But before we go to sleep, we're going to put a voice recorder on voice activation mode. But it's more or less along the lines of uh, noise activated. Here's the nurse's station, and over here is the resident dining room. Here soon, it's going to be, you know, breakfast time. So, we are going to leave the voice recorder on voice activation mode. I'd put it like right here with uh, the mics facing that way. And uh, while we try to get some sleep, which we probably will, get some sleep. We're hoping to pick up some kind of footsteps and whatnot and just sounds in general, see what happens when we're sleeping. But yeah, let's go ahead and do that, see what happens. And if anything happens, you guys will hear the footage. See you guys soon. We made it, if you can't tell with my face. Uh, probably, believe it or not, I woke up about 20 minutes ago. I have a really hard time waking up in the mornings. But it's going on 11. Uh, if you get the time extension here, because the time's for Pine Lawn Manor and the rehab center is uh, from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., which is a pretty decent time, but you can get an extension I don't know I can't remember how much it is but you can get an extension for I think it's either until 10 or until 11 but uh, honestly it might be worth it because we when we were trying to go to sleep we were hearing a lot of stuff that I wasn't really able to get it on camera because of course every time I pull the camera out, something would stop. So I think they need to get used to it. But this location, it would be perfect to challenge yourself to see what all you can get on camera since this is one of them places that just isn't used to cameras yet. Or I know there's gonna be a lot of you watching like, oh, I don't give a crap. I don't do this stuff anyways on camera. I, like, I just do it for myself, blah, 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 blah. This place would be perfect for you. If you don't know about Pine Lawn Manor, go to our channel. We have two videos out. Our first video there, uh, we pretty much proved just how crazy Pine Lawn can get. Our second video isn't as crazy, but it also, it still proves, because that was the quietest night we've had in there, and we still was able to get a full video out, because as a lot of you guys know, we do genuine paranormal. Not every one of our videos is gonna be batshit crazy because it's real, it's authentic. It's what you'd realistically get ghost hunting. So what what you see we get in our videos, that's what you can expect when you go out ghost hunting. Honestly, 
10 out of 10 recommend this place uh, for the first time of it ever being investigated and on camera this place did not disappoint i really hope you guys enjoyed the video if you're new here and you made it this far into the video please consider liking and subscribing to the channel really appreciate it and uh yeah see you guys next time